Former Minnesota GOP donor and political operative Tony Lazaro will learn his fate today after being convicted of sex trafficking minors. Our Bill Keller is live. He's outside the federal courthouse in Minneapolis with more on the story. Bill, good morning. Good morning. This morning, in fact, uh, earlier this year, Tom and Alex, uh, Lazaro was found guilty of recruiting teenage girls and offering cash and gifts in exchange for sex. Well, he now faces decades behind bars. During a trial that lasted 10 days, the one-time political strategist admitted to having sex with girls as young as 15, but he claims he thought they were older. All five victims testified against Lazaro at trial, but uh, he maintains that he never paid them. In a pre-sentence report, his defense says the sex was consensual and they object to the assertion that, quote, anybody was a victim in this case. Prosecutors are now seeking a 30-year sentence followed by 10 years of post-release supervision. They also want restitution for the victims and a payment of $30,000 to the Domestic Trafficking Victims Fund. Now, his alleged co-conspirator, Gisela Castro Medina, well, she also testified against Lazaro, saying that he paid her more than $50,000 to recruit teenage girls for sex. That 21-year-old pleaded guilty to her role. She began cooperating with prosecutors, and she will be sentenced next month. Lazaro, by the way, has said he believes that he was selectively prosecuted because of his political activities. And while he does face decades behind bars, his defense is asking that he serve just the mandatory minimum of 30, make that 10 years in federal prison, saying that that is more than enough time for a first-time offender. Tom and Alex, back to you.